Hi everyone, welcome to my Strike 3 experience. Uh, and today I'm receiving Lucas Snowy uh, from Slovenia, part two. Hi, Luca. Hi, Remy. It's nice to see you again. Yes, thank you to accept my invitation again. Uh, today uh, we are going to talk with your, um, uh, your Strike 3 basketball experience as coach. Uh, last week we talked uh, about Strike 3 basketball player. Uh, you can find out the first part in the description below the video. Uh, could you introduce your uh, Strike 3 uh, coach experience, please? Okay, yeah. So um, I started coaching three years back when I was in Japan, where I played uh, in 3x3 Premier X at the first professional 3x3 league. And then uh, I just saw that they're very professional. They have a lot of coaches, 40 different professional teams. Each player gets their monthly uh, payment and on top of that they can earn money for their accomplishment on each tournament if they're the best scorer best rebound and stuff like that so that league and especially teams were very professional each player gets their own apartment you know and then you get the they get the payment so it's very professional and then you get back to europe and you see that the level is still as high as in japan or even higher you know because the players in europe are very very much like um, they're very skilled so it's not about the question about you know if the players are good or not they are they're awesome and better than Japanese players but the case here is that um, the, the organization and we don't have the professional league as they have it so I just decided to make uh, own trick tree basketball club back in Ljubljana and offer some youngsters opportunity to to, to practice free x3 from their young ages and that's how I started my own basketball club back in Ljubljana. Okay, perfect. And what are your roles and mission uh, in the Strix Free Ljubljana team? So if you're talking about youngsters, it's all about fun. So uh, so they, the, the players that are like 13 or 15 years old, they, they must have fun when they're playing Free x 3 This is the first thing. You know, when you're when you're coaching kids, you know, then you have to have fun. But if you're talking about senior team, even though our team is very young, around 22 years old, you know, it's about you know learning fundamentals and then building on those fundamentals and um, and you know then you have team chemistry, then you have tactics, you know, basic tactics, you know, more advanced tactics and stuff like that. It's a lot of stuff that we could talk about. But um, but uh, but to be honest, you know, um, as you you're a coach, it's just uh, an awesome thing so that you can like transport your knowledge to some other person and you know inspire them. It's being a coach is awesome. Okay, and um, uh, are there Strixu basketball uh, professional players in Ljubljana? So they're not fully professionally, I would say semi-professional as they play five on five uh, also. Like, I think they all play uh, in, the, in some um, foreign teams like um, Iceland Professional League and, um, and Austria Professional League and stuff like that. So they play five on five professionally. So they're not fully professional three x three team. Okay, and um, as, a, as, a, as a coach, uh, how do you plan the the three x three season for the senior uh, competition and for the young uh, team? So right now, due to COVID, you know it's very difficult because to get in those tournaments, you know you have to first you have to travel far away, and the other thing is there are not as much tournaments as they used to be like before the coronavirus. Um, uh, um, so. Right now it's harder, but if you're talking about two to three years ago, you know, you just, at the beginning of the season, you set your goals. Then yet again, I'm talking about the young team who has not yet been to the world tour. And then you're just trying to teach them the fundamentals, um, go to qualifiers and then through the qualifiers, trying to go to challengers uh, or to quest and through quest the world tour. And we did manage to do that this year. Last year, we didn't manage to do that. Um, as I said, there were less tournaments as we, we as we hoped that there would be, but um, but that's the main thing. Like to we we set the goal to be on the world tour this year, and we we did make it. Okay, uh, and uh, as a coach, what is your philosophy uh, uh, in the in the training and the 
uh, and other parts of the three to basketball, like a transition or check ball. Uh, what, what is your philosophy? So yes, if we're talking about the senior, right, competition, not the, the youngster. Yeah, the senior, yes, perfect. The senior, right? So if we're talking about senior, definitely defense, you know, hard defense, um, not allowing um, open two-point shots, risking uh, one-pointers instead of two-pointers, closing out and, and, and uh, hard, like, you know, hard closeouts and um, rebounds. So this is the, uh, regarding defense. But if we're talking about offense, it depends, you know, what's what's the characteristic of your uh, players but uh, mostly we try to play fast and lightning transition and on the and, and on the um, and on the position in place i would say that um, similar to to those plays that liman plays you know i, I love how liman plays with those um, handoffs and then from the handoff they just continue playing pick and rolls and stuff like that i, I think this is like the right way to play it is from my philosophy. I love how they play. Um, also, Liga, you know, numerous, numerous um, handoffs and then pick and rolls. Amsterdam play is playing now the same and, and a lot of two pointers. Um, so I would say this is the the philosophy I see that that uh, that might might be the future of three x three. So yeah. Uh, have you uh, coached the Slovenia team? I've been assistant coach of the under 18 and under 21. Okay, uh, and what's your roles uh, or, or mission uh, for assistant Slovenian team? Yeah, so you know, um, as an assistant coach, I learn. You know, I'm still young, 40 years old, so I'm still learning. Um, um, that's that's the one thing. And the other thing is, you know, if as a, I have played three x three for ten years, so I'm just trying to share the, the experience as a, as a player, you know, from from my point of view, you know, how to attack pick and roll, be aggressive on the pick and roll. So if the other guy switches or not, that he helps um, and pushes up, so the other player can roll and 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 just you know have an easy layup and stuff like that. So. Um, be be motivational motiv uh, to motivate players, you know. And uh, when you when you coach young players, you know, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of, a lot about um, their philosophy, a lot about mentality, you know. Because young players may not be as much concentrated as the senior players, so you have to talk to them, be vocal, you know. And if you coach them right on the practices, you know. Their mind, their mindset will be set as it should be, and then they will perform the right way on the court. Since you, you, there's no in-game coaching, you know, on three x three, so practice makes each and uh, each uh, each team and each um, each player better. Okay, thank you, Luca, uh, to sharing your experience as a coach. Uh, thank you for following us. And the next week, uh, Luca is going to talk about. His book, Sexy Basketball Book. Uh, thank you, Luke, again. Thank you very much. Au revoir. Au revoir. See you later. See you next week.